everyone. I wasn't going to make a video today, but this project was just so quick and easy, I couldn't help it. Um, so today I'm going to show you how I made myself a footstool that turned into a cat hammock that I'm now creating an entirely separate cat hammock so that my cats can enjoy it and hop off my footrest. Um, surprisingly, like floor ottomans and footrests are like crazy expensive. Um, and I ended up getting um, like a set of shelving made out of PVC piping slash metal piping from Five Below. And this is actually something that's really easy and inexpensive to recreate, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So first things first, you're obviously going to need this metal piping. Uh, you could do it with metal, you can do it with plastic, it doesn't really matter as long as it's sturdy. Um, and you need three different, si three different sizes or cuts. Could this be any louder? Wow. Um, so these are going to be our legs. You're going to need four of these, obviously, so that it stands on all four legs. And these are about six and a half inches. But this is a 10 inch pipe. Um, and obviously I've got the little uh, elbow corners at the ends. And this is a 20 inch pipe. And this is going to be the full length of our hammock. I think that's what I'll call it. Hammock or shelf throughout the rest of the video. Um, the elbow pieces are relatively inexpensive as well. You can get a full uh, like length of, I think, 72 inches of um, piping. I believe that is like six feet of piping, which could easily make you tons of these for like two or three dollars uh, from the internet or from Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, so the piping is obviously really inexpensive. The elbows, um, I think the cheapest I saw these for at the half inch mark, these are half inch, um, was probably like 49 cents a pop. So one for each corner, that's another two bucks. So you're at $5 for making the entire frame. And if you already have fabric at home, um, that's about as much money as you're gonna have to spend, which is really great. I actually just used some scrap fabric I had laying around and made this really inexpensive. So once again, six and a half inch, 10 inch and 20 inch pipes and four little elbow joints in the piping. And now I'm going to show you how to assemble it. I like to start by creating the short 10 uh, foot ends, 10 foot, <laughs> 10 inch ends, can you imagine? Um, so I have set this here, basically all you're going to do is take your elbows, lay it down, and obviously you're going to want this set up so that you have one area going this way so that you can add your 20 inch pipes and then uh, the other angle going down for your legs. So all you're going to have to do, of course, is just snap it on either side. If they're the right size, they should slide in really easy. Once again, I'm using half inch, and that's basically your first step. And after that, all you'll have to do is take your 20 inch piping and pop that into the sides to start creating your rectangle. You can kind of see how that's forming there and where the legs would go. And all you'd have to do is move it right around to the other side and pop your last couple ends in. There we go. And that is the full size here. So we have the 10 by 20 inch and it looks pretty good. Next, of course, is going to be our legs. I didn't mention this at the beginning. Um, this isn't necessary, but I think it makes it look better if you have um, caps for the bottom of these. Um, you can get those in, in packs, which are pretty nice. Here I'm just attaching the legs. Good and simple, getting them in as far as I can. That's the third leg. And our last leg right here. Flip it over, and boom, we have our frame. Next, you're gonna need some scrap fabric. I had about two yards left over from this. I think I was going to wear it to a toga party, and then it ended up being just like slightly too small to tie it in the fancy way I wanted. Um, so I just kind of saved it. And, um, yeah, basically we're just gonna cut this into the basic shape of our frame. I basically just kind of measured it out uh, in this way so that I could kind of wrap things around. Um, basically, you're going to want to create a basic shape of your 10 by 20 inch rectangle. And then I added three inch flaps on either side. A three by 20 on either side here and a three by 10 rectangle over here. And then you'll cut around the outside of that shape. It should look a little something like this. We've got our flaps. I have the corners cut pretty much all the way in um, just to make it easy and make sure there isn't any extra fabric. I'm just gonna pop that out. 
lay this down. I didn't bother ironing this because I think something that's important about this is making sure that it's as tight as possible. And frankly, having the creases in there lets me know whether or not I have it at the tightness that I need, especially since I was resting my feet on this. Um, I really needed to make sure that I wasn't just gonna dive right through. So basically all you're gonna be doing from here, super, super easy, is folding in these sides and gluing. Um, to get the right amount of tension on these, I like to glue on the pipe first and then fold and glue on the pipe here and then fold. And then I can actually tighten it as it goes. So I'm going to be using my hot glue gun, nice and easy. This is the Monvict glue gun I reviewed oh gosh, probably several months ago at this point. Um, and I'm going to go onto the piping first. Nice and simple. doesn't have to be perfectly neat. That's something that's nice about this because especially since you're looking at it kind of from above, it almost doesn't matter at all <laughs> um, what kind of size you got there. And I'm just pressing down to kind of adhere it to my pipe here. Once I think I've got that about where I want it, I am going to add glue to the other side. All right, and now you can see I've got all these creases here. This is the one I'm gonna look to get out because it's going in the same direction. So I'm just gonna pull nice and tight over top there until this crease kind of irons itself out. That definitely made it less of an obvious crease. I think I'm gonna go in a little bit off camera here and kind of tighten it up as much as possible. And yeah, we'll come back when that's all done. All right, as you can see, the creases have flattened out pretty nicely, and I've also kind of tucked all my edges in under here. After I did that initial glue down on the pipe to get things kind of in there and going, I ended up squeezing another line of glue underneath the pipe so that I could kind of tuck the ends in there and keep them nice and uh, tight, I guess. I'm not even really sure why I did that, maybe just to keep it from looking super ugly on the bottom. But once you flip it over, it is fully functional and it's pretty sturdy. Ugh. It does dip a little bit, which is fine, but it still feels really nice and secure so my cats can lay on it. Um, I also think that you could really easily stack um, like clothes or shoes on here. Like if you needed some extra like closet space, I think this is really nice. I think this is great and multi-purpose and like really inexpensive actually. Um, I think like this could even be done like if you have an old t-shirt or something. If this is too big for you, of course, you could always do like, um, you know, a 15 by 10 square or like kind of cut it down a little bit to make it a little more cost effective if you um, only have a certain size of fabric or whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of share this with you guys. Um, I thought it was simple and effective and super customizable, which is the best part. You can make the pipes whatever color you want if you're buying them yourself. Um, obviously, you can get the fabric in whatever color you want. You can add trim to the sides or pom-poms or whatever just to kind of jazz it up a little bit um, if you're doing it for your cats or if you're doing it as like something that's actually going to be visible. I think this is a really nice way to make something that is actually attractive. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time and I'd love for you to be there for the next one. Thanks again for watching and hopefully I will see you then. Bye! Sweetie, that's not exactly what it's for. You're supposed to lay on it.